It's 8.30. It's very scary looking downtown. Got the uh, thick fog. You can <sighs> barely see down Ottawa. I mean, it's not a uh, not a fun fun day. It's gloomy. 45 degrees right now, Channel 95, 7 with Connie and Curtis. 50 the high today. It is gloomy. Like, it's warm, Like, though. I'm waiting for the daylight to come, and then I realize it's already technically daylight. It's just gloomy. Right. I mean, this weekend, it never got daylight. I know. It was just dark and not a good time. Mm-hmm. Grim. It was grim. It's supposed to be sunny next weekend, though, but in the 30s. Sunny and cold. Yeah. I mean, and we'll take it. We would love to see the sun. Mm-hmm. We're not uh, not afraid to like We're have all a little... vitamin D deficient. My goodness. So <laughs> vitamin D deficient, right? We are. <laughs> I mean, we are. I mean, Michiganders are always vitamin D deficient. I was in the walking wintertime. through Meyer, and one of the whole milks had a, a little bit of uh, droplets on it. I licked them right off of there to try to get a little of that extra really? vitamin D. Did it's you? vitamin D fortified. Mm-hmm. So I went right through. Cheese also good for that. Mm-hmm. But then cheese kind of stops you up you got some issues you know salty you don't want that and it's salty yeah cheese is salty yep lots of salt and cheese so mm. salty in fact we, i don't care i love cheese we if we and do, i love salt though if we're doing a big recipe and it has a lot of like parmesan cheese in it yeah we didn't even put salt in we use the parmesan cheese as our salt oh. are you kidding me nick yep. this kind of thing happens in my house all the time that's that's good to know also i just had a bing light bulb moment mm-hmm we're having a potluck lunch here on Friday. Right. Just decided I'm bringing Italian meatballs with Parmesan cheese inside of them. Oh, done. That Just happened delicious. right here. Mm-hmm. I'll make uh, when I make it for the family. I make eight meatballs and they're big, like a, a softball. Okay. <laughs> but for <laughs> for the party, I'll make them tiny. Yeah. Little that's golf probably ball. a good idea. Maybe ping pong ball size. Mm-hmm. Get them all tiny and made. So bake them up. Done. Are you bringing something for the potluck? No, potluck I, pass. I didn't even know. Ixne, Ixne on the oh, potluck. Oh, because you're not doing Secret Santa, right? No. Ixne on the potluck when it comes to Nick. Yeah, Nick can't bring anything. Nick has a potluck pass. Nick yeah. has a very cat hairy house. <laughs> we don't want any of your potluck. Uh, love. Nobody wants. But what your if food. it's in a potluck? Every, I just make you know chop everything up, put it right into the pot. No, 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 no. 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 Anything that touches a only counter. if it's in a like a lace bag. Yeah, um, exactly. that's still sealed. So I can buy some lace. <laughs> you can buy anything that's still sealed and has not been opened. Absolutely. And yeah. you have to buy the bowl or the serving utensils as well. Uh, <laughs> nothing can come from your house and end up at a potluck party. No offense. Just you Sorry got. Me. You, you no got, offense, Nick. You just got 40 some cats. Some taken, but that's okay. You, you got 40 cats. You got uh, one time you're going to bring us jerky and you set it out and the cats ate it. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't bring it in. Like, here's what remains. Half mod. Yeah. <laughs> here's what's left. And then I would have eaten it. I wouldn't have known. I got some more jerky. Gave you got some... more? Yep. It appeared in your mailbox? Uh, I think he just handed it to Gina. Here's oh, the okay. deal. I so want to try Nick's neighbor's venison jerky. Like, it's one of my all-time favorite things to eat. Yeah. And Nick uh, is the only meat eater in his apartment, which means it he has to eat it all. Mm-hmm. And I said, I will help you with this. But then I am torn because all the cats. <laughs> right? So it's I don't in know. a Ziploc bag. It hasn't been opened that the neighbor gave me. So it's good. You know that the cats are rummaging through it right now. And nope. then they're closing the Ziploc it's, back up. <laughs> they're very <laughs> some smart cats. I put very it in smart. the cupboard so it could not okay. could not get to they're it. They're very fancy. <laughs> well if you choose to bring some in, I would have I would try some. But I get I get nervous. He's gonna be a little scared. Maybe you should bring some for his birthday on Wednesday. Oh, that'd be yeah, good. That's... One piece of beef jerky for my birthday. That's all I need. It's deer jerky. Yeah, that's what I meant. I call it beef jerky though. It's still I don't right. Care. Deer jerky. One time I had emu jerky. That was disgusting. Oh. It was the worst thing ever. I was at a farmer's I market. I don't think I knew that people ate emus. Oh, yeah. Well, people will eat anything, right? If you're starving enough. I guess, yeah. So uh, they had all these jerkies, and I'm like, hey, I'll try emu jerky. And it was a sample. I didn't okay. buy the emu jerky. They're like, you want to try this? I said, yes, I do. Oh, no, I don't. This <laughs> what is the was wor- so bad about it? It just was so gamey. Okay. You know, like venison jerky is a little bit gamey, mm-hmm. but emu was over the top gaminess. Okay. So I walked, and it's an outdoor farmer's market, so I walked like two steps and I threw it in the road. And uh, <laughs> it, it sat there in the road. My chewed emu jerky sat there in the road for like two weeks. Like squirrels wouldn't even eat it. Did it they was not have a garbage can available they, they may have. Chris. They, they may have. Didn't I mean, it's biodegradable, but. Oh, I thought something would eat it. Nothing did eat it. It's pretty bad when even a. Like a mouse? Uh, an animal won't eat. The crows didn't take it. The emu jerky. Oh, like I thought maybe the Raccoons, blue jays would get in there. Raccoons. Raccoons, but yeah, nobody. Like two weeks it sat there. They all snubbed their nose at Speaking the Speaking of uh, mice, did you know that mice 
eat other mice? Uh, no. Had a, a mouse drop into the uh, the little wheel, a window well that yeah. I have there, the egress window. Uh-huh. So uh, there's a mouse in there. And Katie says, uh, Curtis, Curtis, come down here. It's in the basement. And I said, yeah, what can I do for you, dear? And she said, you got a friend in the window. That's how she refers to the mice. Right. Because they're my friends. Right. And I said, oh, okay. And she said, you better hurry, though. He's eating his other friend. Uh, was his other fr- Other friend was dead. Oh. So his other friend had died in there. And we What's had not been, been down for like a week and a half. Uh, so there he is. So he's eating this mouse. And he ate so much that he was like lethargic. I was able to just pick him right up. He didn't run. So what did you do with him? I threw him out in the yard. Okay. Much to Katie's chagrin. She wanted you to kill him. She's like, he's going to run right back out in the house. I'm like, no, he's not. He's like eight miles away in mouse distance. That's funny because I remember when I had a mouse in my condo and I told you that I took it outside <laughs> and threw it across the yard and you gave me grief about it. Yeah, because you- said he's coming back in. And it, and it is coming back in in your instance. Oh, you and, had but it's crack. not in yours. Well, mine is an egress window, so they just fall. I had egress windows too. So then they get uh, they get nervous about that. Mm-hmm. You had them in your house, mm-hmm. remember? Mm-hmm. Like once they get in in a house, then they're in. Uh-huh. So I've had thousands of mice in my house. Okay. Those guys you got to kill. Okay. Because they want to get back into where it's warm. We have a mouse in our garage. He's living there. I just saw him for the first time on oh. Saturday. Should I bring my BB gun? No. Glue trap? I don't know what Dan's going to do. I didn't ask. He's going to handle it, though. A little glue trap action. I always feel bad about the I glue traps, I think those are though. horrible. Uh, it, you know what? Whatever. I don't even want to know about it. Because then you're stuck to the glue trap I know. and you starve. I know. You know? Yeah, that's mean. That's so inhumane, it seems. But is snapping their neck any more humane? It's, it's done. It's quick. Right. It, it is right, quick. At least it's quick, but yeah. I, I don't want a mouse in my car. Yeah, I took... No, no, you don't. Absolutely. I know. Driving around, squeaking all the time. <laughs> Bosnia, backstreet driver. <laughs> backstreet mouse driver. <laughs> yeah, get at it. That would be a Connie accident. Wait, can you imagine how I'm so jumpy? Yeah. You go across uh, 18 lanes of traffic, go back <laughs> forward. not be we, good. Yeah, then you're in the uh, parking uh-huh. lot, you get out and you run, but you don't turn the car off, so it goes and crashes into a building. <sighs> yeah, that wouldn't be then good. Then the mouse is sitting there, he's got his little driving gloves on, and you're like, what driving are you doing, mouse? Gloves? He I, takes the car over. Yeah, he starts driving it. It's like that Ralph S. Mouse with the mouse and the motorcycle. Uh, he's all driving everything. Yeah, those are, th- don't ask questions you, you, you don't want answers to, because like, I what really happens, don't want to know. What happens with the glue trap? I, I don't really want to know what happens with any, or how Dan's going to handle it. Right. I said, ah! And he said, what? And I said, there's a mouse! And he said, I'll handle it! Okay. And then I walked inside. Well, I'm I have, not asking another question. I have every kind of trap imaginable, because we did have a million mice in our house. Mm-hmm. So uh, I have glue traps, which we then stopped using those, because what do you, or the worst is when there's a glue trap. And just like one part of the mouse is stuck to it, so then he's dragging the glue trap around. You know, he's got one leg on and the th- oh three gosh, are off. Oh my gosh! Stop! Like, this is horrible. And then you don't know what to do with okay. him. Okay, sorry I brought it up. But we had, but yeah, I got the ones that snap. I got ones. Why are you that laughing? Where you get in and you can't get out. I got. The yeah, poison. what happens in those? Those you take to a park and you let them go, or back out in the yard. Oh, okay, so there's nothing in there that kills them. No, you can put poison in there if you want. Oh, okay. Yeah, but then that takes like thirty days. You know, you ever try to murder somebody with uh, mouth poison? Mouth poison? Yeah, you put it right there in their mouth, and uh, you eat it up, and it nope. is- Can't uh, faint it, I have. No. <laughs> well, you should, because it is it is awesome. It's spectacular is what it is. So you get that uh, mouth poison, and you just put it right in there. And uh, it seriously is uh, sensational. Right. Uh, you will love it. So good luck. <laughs> keep us uh, posted. Like, we want to know what's going on I'm with the mouse. I'm not going to keep you posted because I don't know what's happening and I'm not asking. Let us know if you ever see it again. I will let you know if I ever see it again. Because you know if you see one mouse. There are 8 million of them. Yes. So you got tons of mice in there. <laughs> At least this one was in the garage. Right. So they're I don't all really care in, as long as they stay outside of my house. Right. Oh. I got the spiders. Something fierce. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh. Do you ever clean? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's always in the, the window plant. Like the... The window, the double window. Yeah, but mm-hmm. it's cold now, right? They're dead. Yeah, they're still hanging out. You're still seeing them. Yeah. Now I had one in my sunroom the other day. They're not dead. Oh. I never got cold enough for long enough. I get nervous. I hate spiders. Oh yeah, I had one about a quarter size. Oh. It was huge. See, I have no problem reaching in that window well and grabbing a mouse and taking them outside and throwing them in the yard. But a spider, but a spider you out. I that is my hilarious. Pants. Yeah, I don't want to turn into Spider Man. Or what if I have a huge reaction and I balloon up? Then I got one arm that's huge, one arm that's not huge. They don't bite you. 
They might. Not if you get them properly. <laughs> well, if you kill them. You'll be okay, right. But what if I go to kill it and then jumps and it sinks its fangs into me? Oh, <laughs> jumps. Yeah. yeah. They it's jump. the jumping, they fangy jump. spider. Have you seen these jumping spiders? Yes, I have. Gina, Gina has to tell me every time she kills one on her own. Like, oh. she's super proud. She's like, you weren't here today, and I killed it all by myself. See, Connie leaves them. <laughs> I, if I can't, well, especially disappear. if I can't reach them too, okay. but otherwise I'll get them. Yeah, because you don't want to jump up and then have it fall in your hair and then nope, bite you in the eye. No, nope, and that's what happens. Then you get a popped mm-hmm. eye. You're like, this is no popped good. No, you can, then you can't ever find it, so then you feel like you have a spider head for the rest of the day. Yeah, and it's no. in it's in your your, your, your sweater. Ah, yes. <laughs> and it's crawling on you. You got one on you right now. No, no, I don't. No, you don't, but I, I wish you did. And, really? Well, no, I don't wish you did. Because I would make you, you kill it. And then I get to smack you a little bit. It'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got a mosquito on your forehead. Oh, sorry.